Good blessed throwback Thursday, June the uh, 3rd, 2021. It's about 7.47 uh, p.m. I'd like, to greet all uni- I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is, what your nationality is, what tribe you came from. I greet all you all with the same universal greetings. Uh, It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me nor my YouTube channel or anything that I put on social Internet. That's your prerogative. You have a right. Uh, But today what I want to talk about is. Every time. February come around sometime when it's uh, not leap year is. It uh, comes around, uh, well, leap year, every leap year, you know, leap years every four years. But I want to talk about the shortest month of the calendar. Uh, we celebrate, when I say we, most blacks and some whites and other people celebrate uh, Black History Month. But I celebrate Black History Month, uh, a Black History period, uh, 365 days a year. 366 every leap year. I don't just celebrate it and talk about it. I live it. You know, and what I want to talk about now, y'all, is some of the leaders. And if the shoe fit, wear it. If it don't, don't wear it. You know, uh, I've been dealing with all my life is three C's. Chicago, uh, Charleston, Chicago, Illinois, Charleston, Missouri, and now Carvindale, Illinois. But I want to show y'all something. And then I want to tell y'all something. I want you to pay real close attention. First, I want to tell you how some news medias and some leaders will get behind you when your uh, issue is popular in its own national news. But when it ain't, you don't hear nothing. I'm going to tell you something that happened to my Uh, My daughter that's going on 15 years old next month when she was about five and in kindergarten here in Charleston, Missouri, in the Charleston R1 school district, the Hearns Elementary School. uh, Back in February uh, of 2012, a white bus driver that wasn't even here two years came from Arkansas. Apparently they didn't do too much background on him. He had been having my young five-year-old daughter on the bus with him just about the whole school year. Abusing her. Until one day when she came home, she showed me her backpack and said this guy asking he pick her up. Number one, I I signed a contract with the so-called black. Everybody that's black ain't black. They skin is black. He was the director, the transportation director for the Charleston R1 school district. And I know they don't like me talking about it. I didn't got threats. I don't care if they don't like me talking about it. But he was the director of the Charleston R1 School District Transportation, school transportation. I signed a contract with him and then the white female principal to ask them to let my then five-year-old daughter ride on the bus with my then six-year-old daughter who was in first grade. Uh, Because my five-year-old was having problems with kids on the bus that... Uh, the bus driver in the school never corrected. So they they agreed to that for that particular those for particular years in 2011 and 2012. Now, uh, when my daughter get picked up from the house, both of them get on the same bus together. My daughter, five year old daughter that was in kindergarten, she actually rode with the ones that was in from uh, first to fifth grade. And I end up, uh, uh, when they come home, the when the kindergarten get out at 245, they was instructed to take my then five-year-old daughter that was in kindergarten to the office until 3 o'clock until the first through the fifth graders get out. Somewhere doing that, they breached that contract. 
but my daughter was holding it in until February the 1st, 2012. When she came home, she said, Poppy, the bus driver asked me, can he pick me up by my backpack? And he picked me up and she showed me where her backpack was broke because she was about 60 pounds then. He lifted up from the back where a, where a little hoop, a, a loop be at where you hang your backpack up. He lifted it up and it broke. She fell down. It wasn't, it wasn't no more than about a few uh, inches from the ground, but he had no reason to pick up. He, she had no reason to being on the bus with this guy by herself. And during the time that he was on, she was on that with him. Uh, later, he told them he had her picking up paper. That wasn't her job. Imagine her bending over. He behind her. You see what I'm saying? But my point is, they didn't do nothing. This this so-called black. That's why I say everybody with black skin. They they ain't for black people. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's too many black people worship whites. You see what I'm saying? Look at them in the ass being superior. And, you know, if the shoe fit, wear it. But anyway, when I complained about this here, they didn't do nothing. I still got the paperwork. They didn't do nothing about it. I gave, I sent this here to the FBI, to the Justice Department in Washington, D.C., because Charleston, Missouri is just like almost the way I see now in Carbondale, Illinois. They got ties with the newspapers and everything. The newspaper never uh, reported this here. The uh, Charleston, Missouri, uh, R1 school district resource officer, which she's still the resource officer. She she's the uh, for, uh, she's a police for the Charleston, Missouri, R1 school district. She never even questioned the bus driver. She tried to change my daughter's story to tell my daughter that the bus driver was just trying to help you on the bus. How in the heck is he trying to help on the bus? And she had been through a uh, uh, pre-K head start getting on a bus by herself then she wasn't handicapped you see what i'm saying she was just having problems with kids that who parents can't discipline them you see what i'm saying that they want to lick her on the face you see what i'm saying want to bite her want to pinch her but her sister that was six years old queen didn't take none of that mess but my point is the police never made the report the blacks that was working in the school den, they took up with these uh, white folks that was running the Charleston R1 school district, been running for years. If you look at the history of the Charleston R1 school district, Google up Davis versus Charleston, Missouri Board of Education. And you will see it was a family called Davis, Barbara and Johnny Davis, their, their mother, Annie Davis, filed a lawsuit with them. It was in St. Louis, Missouri. Because then the Charleston R1 school district was called the uh, Charleston, Missouri Consolidated School Number 7, where they didn't allow blacks to be in there. You see what I'm saying? But my, my point to show you something, just like it was back there then, it's like that now. You see what I'm saying? It never been in the newspaper. I tried to get the newspaper to put it in. They said, well, the man haven't been arrested. No, because the good old boy system, the white police didn't even question him, didn't even make a police report. So how it's like it never happened. But one thing about it, years later, God punished that newspaper. You know what? It went out of business. Muslim brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, all praises due to God. The same way in Carbondale, Illinois, my black son, 45 years old, was found hung on March the 19th, 2021. Today makes 76 days, and the newspaper ain't even put it in the newspaper. Ain't now organizations march with me. There's a couple of organizations, there's a couple of people that had events. Let me speak at their events, but let me show you something now. Let me show you something. I talked I talk to three, well, I emailed three of the Southern Illinois uh, newspaper outlet. Three of them. And I'm finna show y'all the ones I take a good look at them, y'all. The first one that I, this, this is the, the name of the newspaper, the Southern Illinois. This, this date here, this Laurie person. This was the last time I talked to her about three times. This is the last time I talked to her. May the 19th, 2021. 
telling her that I emailed these people where, where they, uh, they she gave me an email where all the journalists get it. And it was news at the Southern, like these is, at the Southern.com. I didn't hear nothing. That was a couple of times in March after I found out my son had got was found home and they tried to say it was suicide. The next time I called Lori and told her that I didn't hear nothing, she gave me this individual right here, Marilyn Halstead at the Southern.com. That's her email. Never heard nothing. Then she gave me this other individual, Isaac, at the Southern.com. Uh, Isaac never uh, uh, contact me. But then let me tell you, when I was up there at a George Floyd march in Carbondale, Illinois, on uh, May the 25th of 2021, I talked to Isaac and a few other ones who was following that march. And I was telling them about what was going on. One of the people from the Southern gave me this lady's uh, name here, told me to contact her, Lauren uh, Cross at the Southern. I contact all of them. This is June the 3rd, and ain't none of them contacting me. But let me tell you, show you what Isaac just, I looked in the Southern Illinois newspaper in Carbondale, Illinois. Now, you remember my son, Brian Lamont Johns, rest in peace, son. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to do this here if I have to do it by myself. Found hung, a black man. It ain't been in the newspaper yet, 76 days. But this same individual, Isaac Smith. That I contact, talked to on the 25th at the at the George Floyd March and emailed him. Never contact me back. Today, let me show you what he had in the newspaper today in, in the Southern. Chicken wing shortage comes to roost in Southern Illinois. Chicken wing shortage comes to Southern to roost in Southern Illinois. Ain't that something? Now he can put this, 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 his name is up under this article. Google it up, y'all. The Southern Illinois uh, News at, uh, and, and look, look, look at, then, then put this chicken wing shortage and see who name up under this here. When I just not looked at it, it was about eight hours ago. You see what I'm saying? Now he can put something in about a damn Chicken wing shortage in Southern Illinois, but he couldn't put nothing about a black 45 year old man. Now, I wonder if somebody in his family got found hung or any one of them, Merlin, Isaac or Lauren or Lori or whoever owned the newspaper. But my thing is, it don't surprise me with this newspaper. You see what I'm saying? What do what do kind of kind of somewhat surprise me is you see these people here. Y'all know who that is? Some of these so-called black leaders probably don't know who they is or they do. If they do, they don't care nothing about them. But that's W.E.B. Du Bois, a true activist, a true intellectual elite in the black community. Do you know who that is? Rosa Parks. You see what I'm saying? A true activist. She paid her fan on that bus and she refused to get up. You see what I'm saying? She rather go to jail. And that go my sister, Harriet Tuckman. She said, I freed a thousand slaves. I could have freed a thousand more if I can only could have convinced them Negroes. She didn't say that, but I'm putting that in. Them Negroes that they was slaves. Muhammad Ali, he refused to go to the military and fight in the war because he said them people over there didn't do nothing to him. And I feel him 100%. I don't look down on anybody that went to the military, but I feel them 100%. We still being treated like second-class citizens. Here it is, a shortage, a chicken wing shortage is more important than a black man losing his life. But Muhammad Ali said, I floated like a, I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The hands can't hit what the eyes can't see. You see, this, this is what we call it, black history, real black history. Martin Luther King. You see what I'm saying? He said, where there's an injustice, anywhere there's a threat to an injustice everywhere. This is injustice. No news reports on this here, but a news report on a damn chicken shortage, chicken wing shortage. Malcolm X, my brother, man, and friend. El Hodge, El Malik, 
El Shabazz. He said, when a man is a weapon, you never unarmed. And he said, we got to fight this struggle by any means necessary. And I agree with him. You see, God even told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. You see, when Moses went over there and the people were set free, you know what happened? It's just like these leaders today. You see what I'm saying? Once they got free, they disregarded what God told them. But I didn't. <laughs> this is the first obituary of my son that was made in Chicago, and I had another one made. But he may, he may be resting in peace, and those of y'all that say y'all tired of listening to me saying that, you know, keep on being tired. But my point is, y'all, why ain't it being put in the newspaper yet? But the chicken wings is in there. The chicken wings is at June the 3rd, 2021. But let me tell you this here. Individuals in, in, in Carbondale, Illinois, that told me they was Brian friends. That Bri they was my son, Brian friend, black and white. I ain't, ain't now one of them contact me yet. The friends. The ones that say friend, as other people that don't contact me, black and white, that I met since I've been up there, and we talking about a Mars, but ain't nam person that claimed to have been my son's friend in Carbondale, Illinois, black or white, ain't nam one of them contact me about having a uh, march. You see what I'm saying? A uh, 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 march uh, concerning the newspaper not printing my son's story, or a march to ask for justice for Brian. You see what I'm saying? The same, some of the same ones saying that they know some of his so associates, but they ain't showed me nothing. But I'm going to get a, a reward started. I'm going to try to start at $500 or $1,000 because I don't have much money. But a couple of my homies told me they'll help me pitch in. But I want to let y'all see something. Just like God shut down that newspaper here in Charleston, Missouri, because we got plenty of corrupted uh, uh, police officers and sheriffs here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County. I've been fighting against them for the last 25 years. You see what I'm saying? But if it's corruption now, I'm wondering if it's corruption over across uh, in Illinois. Even though it, it unturned from suicide on uh, March the 24th of 2021 from, from suicide, no, no question or doubt of suicide. And then the 25th, it became a open uh, death investigation. Now, it was just a recent murder in, up there in Carbondale where they arrested a white guy. It was in the newspaper. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and we see the chicken wing shortages in the newspaper. You know, it makes me think it's a cover up with my son, Brian. Where is you leaders at help, not helping me complain about the Southern not uh, uh, printing this issue in the newspaper? Because every time I send my YouTube to some people, they never heard of what happened in Carbondale. They didn't hear about it. It's because it's not being told. You could be having a murderer, a serial killer around there. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I ain't through coming to Southern Illinois. My son didn't hang himself. And all you people that talking about y'all friends, y'all ain't y'all his friends. Y'all was his friends when he was alive, when y'all can get something out of him. Misusing him because he was on drugs and he had maybe had a few issues. But because he was on drugs and had a few issues, that don't bring him to hang himself. Those that don't like what I'm saying, you know I live, and most time I travel alone. The only thing I can tell you, if you decide to try to attack me, I would try to stop your heart from beating by any means necessary. I won't wound nobody. Anybody that physically attack me, I won't wound you. I'll do my best to take your life. Peace be still.